So say that I have a class, a name dummy, right? Uh, it's actually an empty class. Uh, actually, it doesn't have to be empty. I can create an integer uh, value, right? And initialize it to zero, something like that. Use member initializer, uh, initializer uh, uh, for, for the data inside class dummy, right? And uh, I can go into my main function and I can say dummy uh, D uh, and uh, create the object. And I can say C out uh, print uh, uh, size of uh, D uh, is and actually print how much memory this object D takes size of size of D that's uh, very easy to do right so I can type new line over here and I can display what the size of D is so I'm expecting that my integer on my platform I don't know it's probably four bytes long so I wouldn't be surprised if the size of D isn't the same as the size of integer so let me build this It says, says something. Uh, uh, view logs. Let's see what compiler says. Air dummy not declared in the scope. Oh, uh, how so? Did I save everything? I need to save everything, perhaps, and then build. Okay, so I just needed to save everything. So let's just run this. Debug, run. Okay, and so uh, this is not a big surprise, like I said. The size of D is four because uh, this integer taking four bytes in memory, okay? And so when the object dummy D is uh, instantiated in scope of main, and I check the size of this object D, it tells me that uh, the size is four bytes. This is how much it, it takes in memory to store D. But as soon as I add something like this, uh, virtual, uh, virtual um, uh, VF, virtual function, uh, which absolute, does absolutely nothing, and as, as soon as I add this function virtual VF, so like a dummy function that takes no parameters, oh, actually it's supposed to say void, doesn't return anything, uh, doesn't take any parameters, and doesn't do anything. But as soon as I add a virtual function to the dummy class, and if I build this, oh, I'm still running it, so I need to stop running my program. And then I can go build. Right? And if I run this again, right? All of a sudden, the size of dummy changed to 8 double the size. It's because as soon as I did this, as soon as I added a virtual function to, uh, to, the, to the dummy class, um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the size of it uh, doubled and went from 4 to 8. It's because now includes this virtual pointer inside uh, a, a, a class. And what happens is that um, um, the virtual pointer points to the virtual table of addresses of functions for the type circle or dummy or rectangle, right? And this uh, uh, v, v, v table, right? V table. And then uh, the V table actually tells the compiler where is the actual location of function get area? So this is how it's done. So when we say in our program, uh, when we say in our program uh, that basically we want to call get area, anytime, uh, anytime it just happens to be uh, an instance of a circle, right? This uh, V table. 
specifies location of this table, which specifies that this should be the function invoked for any circle. And when we call get area for the rectangle, the compiler makes it look at uh, a V table pointer, find the V table, and realize that the actual function that needs to be called is a rectangle get area because this, uh, uh, so this is additional layer of indirection. So basically adding virtual functions to any of our objects increases the size of, uh, of every object that we instantiate uh, by, uh, the, uh, 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 by the size of this uh, um, uh, uh, virtual table pointer. Right? And this is why as soon as I add virtual, the size of uh, object, uh, which is uh, an instance of class dummy, uh, doubles in size. Right? So this is how essentially virtual functions are, uh, uh, are uh, invoked. So there's no mystery behind them. Uh, the fact is that they're simply uh, using this trick of hidden data structures uh, as programmers, we don't get access to virtual tables, uh, virtual pointers, but they're part of the uh, of the executable file, right? So, and in fact, in Java, all methods uh, which are part of your classes are virtual functions. So, therefore, in Java, by default, every object gets the hidden uh, virtual. Uh, a pointer, this VPTR, which is a pointer to a virtual uh, function uh, uh, table, uh, which uh, specifies where the location of that method is. So this is how it works. Okay, uh, moving on. <clears throat> 